yeah it's been about five months and these are finally ready See, these are the ones we weighed up the other week in my video that's the calabrian pepper but uh, it's got a pretty good amount of white mold on it which is a good thing you can see it flying off of here <laughs> there you go let's see what it looks like if we can get this collagen off easy sometimes it comes off easy and sometimes it helps to wet down the collagen a little bit oh yeah look there we go see it looks a little funny on the outside once you peel that collagen away this collagen sheet looking pretty good inside oh yeah there you go that red is because uh i dusted the collagen sheet i dusted the uh, loin i mean with some calabrian pepper before before i wrapped it up in the collagen sheet gives it that nice red this one also has a decent amount of white mold tiny bit of these green spots but not too bad let's see what he looks like inside See if this collagen sheet comes off as easy as that last one. Yep, seems like usually if you get it started, it comes off pretty good. And again, if it doesn't come off good, a little bit of water helps to release it. Not a lot, just a little. Well, see this one got no mold through it under the collagen. This one did get a little bit, so I'm going to have to wash that off before I can equalize it or mature it. Or this is going to, uh, this mold's going to die and turn slimy and just get weird inside of there, which, you know, we don't really want that. So, I'll show you how I wash that off. Take care of this mold. I'm going to use some vinegar, just regular old white vinegar and water. It's a 50-50 mix of vinegar and water and it's going to take a paper towel. And then I have a little stiff bristled nylon brush here, and I'm just going to brush it. I'm going to blot it off. Do it again. And it might take a couple, two, three times. This develops cracks. Some of that mold gets deeper into the cracks, takes a little more to get it out. It's not going to be harmful, it's just going to not produce a flavor that anyone really wants. So we want to get rid of enough of it that nothing gets slimy and weird. Wipe off any excess moisture, and now we should be pretty well ready to go into a bag. But before we do that, let's take a look at the inside. It's not a reveal if we don't see what's inside. Gosh, I just love the color of this. It's just gorgeous. One of these days, someone needs to invent smell-o-vision. Maybe I'll get rich inventing smell-o-vision, and I'm still working on the board stretcher for carpenters. Well, got my pork loin, otherwise known as Lanzino. Call it the Calabrian Lanzino, because it's Calabrian pepper. I also have a fall flavor one, and hopefully I'll be able to make a video of that, because I'm a rookie at YouTube, and uh, the video footage I have is, I just can't see how I can make a video from it. So, anyway, that's the reveal. Pretty, pretty beautiful looking in there. And again, I've got it labeled the equalizing date. These took about four months, so I'm going to let them continue to mature for two to four months. They'll just continue to develop flavor. Till next time, put some love into your food.